Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Donald Reitzel and you are watching the first episode, uh, what will be many episodes to come. Uh, we're going to be uploading these videos uh, quite frequently uh, all this winter and in the next summer. And uh, if you've been to my YouTube channel before, then you know that we got a ton of racing videos on there already. Um, full race recap videos and in-car footage and stuff like that. But this winter we thought it would be cool if we just took it a little bit further and uh, really documented uh, everything. And a good friend of mine, Kevin Gladman and I, are going to be building two championship off-road legal YXZ 1000s. And then, of course, we have everything going on over at Molinera's with the limited super buggy, the 1600 buggy, and possibly adding um, a third one. So uh, with all that planned, uh, with the busy winter and uh, the race schedule that we have next year, we just thought it would be cool to document, uh, document it all. So uh, Kevin's actually on his way down here right now, and when he gets here, we're going to go over to Big G Metal Benders in Cole Rain and uh, pick up all the tubing that we need for both of our cages. And then we're going to take it over to uh, Molinera's, which is where my machine already is. That's, and uh, that's where we're going to be doing all the fabrication work and stuff like that. So we're going to shoot over there, pick the tubing up uh, when Kevin gets here, take it over to Tim's and drop it off. And uh, we'll check the machine out whenever we get over there. Got some Molinera's now. Kevin's already inside. Got the tubing. So we got the unit over here at Molinero's and she's pretty stripped down, uh, getting ready to start putting some tubing on for the cage and stuff. Glavin's got a tube over here in the uh, sticking out of the post here. Interior's all gutted out, so next move is uh, get some flex pipe maybe and uh, see if we can't make a template that we like to uh, match the uh, pillars and the a couple of the door bars and stuff so after we get that tomorrow maybe stop and pick that up tomorrow and then I think for the meantime we're just gonna keep on gutting a bunch of stuff that we don't need anymore so later on sometime we'll talk about this over here we got the 1600 buggy over here Nick Molinero's and then my limited super buggy sitting over there and then of course the uh, motorhome and then maybe a little secret inside the enclosed trailer in there two-seater in there maybe with a uh, a new driver hint hint so we'll talk about that later on but for now we got the unit pretty stripped down she's looking pretty good we're gonna keep on gutting bending some tubes trying to find something we like Uh, new day. It's Monday now. A very cold Monday here in Eastern Ohio. So uh, last night we we went over and we got our tubing. We took it over to Molinero's and dropped it off and we started cutting away some brackets and some other things that we knew we weren't going to use on the YXZ. And I'm heading back over there today to hopefully get my containment seat mounted on a new uh, seat bracket that I made earlier. And I'll show you guys out here in a little bit. But, um, but before we go over there, um, I'm at my dad's shop right now. And uh, he's got uh, Oki Howard's uh, 1600 buggy in here helping him do a little bit of rear suspension work to that. But I came over here because I didn't really talk much about this before. Yet another project that we have going on this winter is my 2017 Yamaha that I will not be racing, or as of right now I will not be racing, but uh, I got some wheels and tires over here uh, that I gotta break down. I got some STI wheels here that's gonna be going out uh, to get powder coated over at Klein's Powder Coating in Toronto. So I stopped over here real quick before I go over to Tim's and uh, get back to working on the uh, the race unit. I'm going to break these wheels down. And uh, this is going to be a pretty cool uh, build actually. We got some uh, 
the powder coat work going on on these wheels and the cage. Uh, the cage off of my 2016 is going to go on my 17 after it gets powder coated and uh, we got a wrap coming for it. Um, these wheels uh, are going to match the wrap and stuff. It's going to be really cool so I want to keep everybody updated on, on that too because I think it's going to be a really cool build. But I'm going to break these wheels down and then we'll head over to Tim's and uh, continue working on, uh, on the race machine. I just left dad's. I got the wheels loaded up that I was talking about a little bit earlier. That's going to be going to powder coat. Here is my cage off the 16. This is going to be going to the powder coat too and it's going to be getting powder coated white for the 17. Uh, it already has uh, one of the DWR bumpers on the front and uh, it's a real clean unit and uh, I think the white cage on the top is is really going to be nice. I haven't decided whether we're going to do an all white top and put the wrap up there or if we're just going to do a blue aluminum roof. I got the aluminum white aluminum roof that came off of it. I just haven't decided if I'm going to put it back on yet. Some of the parts from the from the 16 are over there. So I'm going to get the cage loaded up. Wheels are already loaded up and uh, get this stuff off the powder coat and uh, we'll check back in on this stuff whenever I get it back. I don't know how long that will be but uh, whenever we get it back we'll uh, We'll check it out. I think it's going to be really nice. <clears throat> Just a quick update on where we're at here with the uh, with the build. We got uh, a lot of the stuff taken out of the inside, and uh, Kevin said he was going to come over tonight, but he didn't end up being able to make it. And I said earlier that we were going to bend some tubing, but we didn't end up building some tubing, bending any tubing because uh, we found out that there may be a little bit of a rule change for 2020 on uh, some of the wall thickness on some of the tubing so we just continued to take out some of the stuff uh, plastic and stuff around the inside that we knew we weren't going to need and then uh, this is the stock YXZ seat bracket and uh, it's on kind of like a funky slider and uh, we really weren't into that so we made this aluminum bracket that uh, the containment seat's going to mount to. We already had it in there and everything looks like it worked out pretty well. So uh, Kevin's going to come back. Uh, he's he's at his house right now working on his and uh, Kevin's going to come back over here uh, maybe within the next couple of days or so. And we're going to keep on going with uh, what we got here but we're going to hold off on the cage for now until we find out exactly what uh, what we're going to have to do for next year and see what they're going to do for 2020 before we start ruining uh, any of the tubing and stuff that we have. But um, So we got the seat bracket in there. Uh, we'll get the seat mounted. And uh, this is pretty much going to end episode number one. So if you watched episode number one, thank you for watching. And uh, make sure you share it and comment on it or whatever. Uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, stick around for a teaser for episode number two down and that down in there right uh, down through there that's gonna be where this tracks gonna be at so mm -hmm.